We're ready to go. Okay. Today we're replacing a skylight that took a beating in a hailstorm a couple weeks ago. As you can see, duct tape held it together until we got the new plexiglass in. Well, it came in this morning, so let's get to work. Skylights are usually held in with nails or screws, one or the other. But the only thing we need to do is get the aluminum part out, off. So I'm going to go ahead and run around and pull all the nails out and pull the screws out, and it'll come right out. And that should do it. If there were only a few screws in it because I'd already taken a look at it once, I pulled it off to measure it. And the skylight is off. Now we'll carry it downstairs and take the frame off of it and put the new plexiglass in. For the next part, we're going to take the frame off of the old skylight. As you can see, the glass took a bit of a beating with me tossing it off the roof to get it to the ground. So let's take it apart. I could have bought a skylight with a frame, but this saved about $400. It was less than Okay. That's two sides down. Okay, and that's that. So now we get to open up our Christmas present, our new skylights. Now they've got buffers that go in between them. You want to allow for airflow so that you don't have moisture build up in between them. And you don't want to take the plastic off until the last minute because if you scratch them all up, that's how they are from now on. Okay. So now we'll go Bottom frame. Skylight. And then we'll put a layer of caulk around the lip of the skylight. And then we'll lay the top frame on and screw it down. Now we'll lay this on. And we can see our silicone oozing out all the way around. Just a little bit because we didn't put any more on than we really needed. Now just for good luck, once we've got it together, we'll put a bead around the edge here also. Okay, now we're going to put the screws in. Oh, 
Okay, now we're going to run one bead of silicone around it. And then it's ready to go back on the roof. Okay, now we're ready to put it back together. Sliding it back on is just as simple as dropping it in place. And then we're going to use... Sorry. See, the wood looks really good around it. Looks like we got lucky there. There you go, now she's on nice and square. So it's just a matter of putting a few screws in and we're done. And later on I'll add a couple, little bit of silicone on each of the heads of the screws here. That's nice and tight. And now the two up front. Looks like the front had one extra screw in it. That's understandable. This would be the direction the water would come down the roof. whole lot easier to work with without all that silicone in the way. And now we have one good looking skylight. I suppose with that there, we're going to have to look at the other two sooner or later, aren't we?